Well, this week is Weather Week on 5 News, and if you reap what you sow, you might have your work cut out for you this spring. An unusually wet and cold winter could affect your fall harvest. Meteorologist Alicia Wilson met up with a local gardener to find out the details. Due to a brutal winter, supermarket prices for fruits and vegetables across the country have skyrocketed. But Pastor David Raley of Bethel Baptist Church says that the cold weather and recent snow has been good for the soil in his garden. The soil is in better shape than it's been in in years because of a good cold winter. It kills off some of the bad insects and worms. Rayleigh says the slow melting of the snows from this past winter has allowed the moisture to get deeper into the soil and has also helped to change the chemical composition of the soil. Good weather, like we've had this winter, uh, really helps the soil, and multiplies and raises the pH level of the soil. Now when it comes to those higher prices for fruits and veggies, Rayleigh admits he did pay $2.59 for a tomato last week, but he's looking forward to saving several dollars during the upcoming harvest. We'll start harvesting uh, the last of April, things like beets, and we will take them in and, and immediately pickle them and put them in jars and get them ready. And mm -hmm. Other things will start coming in. Uh, 60 days from planting, like uh, we'll have squash by the middle of May, and uh, the tomatoes will come in really good in June. By faith, if everything comes in and we have uh, what most people call good luck, I call it good faith, if everything comes in, we'll have a $5,000 garden this year. So what tips does Pastor Rayleigh suggest to help you keep your garden growing? He says planting garlic around your garden will help keep out insects and rodents, and also planting seeds that grow well together or protect one another like beets and onions. Last but not least, Rayleigh suggests... You have to study the weather patterns. Whether you're planting fruits or vegetables, it looks like this winter season will be favorable for your garden after all. Alicia Wilson, 5 News. What a great story. A lot of folks looking forward to planting gardens. I know actually what I can't wait for is about, I guess, what is it, July when those tomatoes are all oh. ripe and juicy and put that on a big burger. Yeah, Delicious. he said June, so we might yeah, be able June. to get some really good ones in June. Looking forward to it. The soil, though, for most farmers looks pretty good. Yeah, got a feel for them, though. We have some wild weather around we do. here. <laughs> all right. Thank